Hi Cosmic Cuties, Crystal Keen here with Lightworker Sisterhood. Is this your message? It either has to deal with career or relationships or some type of desire that you have. So let me tell you what it is I have here. Right here in the middle is the main theme of the reading, which says conscious steps, considered action, looking forward. Down here, the top row is talking about our message. Then we have clarification messages. These two cards here are results if we follow through. And then I have messages from the fortune cookie deck and from divine doors. So go ahead and feel in with your intuition if this message is in fact for you. You can also use a pendulum. All right, let's see what it is that our cards are saying. We have Divine Presence, Connections, Partnership, Contracts, Commitment, Balance, Archangel Raguel, And then attachment. Okay, where to start here? I am seeing a lot of the number two, so if you have been seeing repeating twos, just the number 22, master number 22, or 222, two, two, so on, so forth. The more twos you add, the stronger the vibration becomes. But this is really for those of you that are looking to take conscious steps or your soul is guiding you to take that action, to take that considered action. You may be trying to look forward instead of being in the present moment, looking for that next stepping stone that's trying to come into your life. You're trying to live through your authentic truth and come into these places that are bringing you happiness joy, sunshine, new self-esteem, truly living in your most divine expression, either through partnerships, as you see with the two, and the six is love, beauty, and abundance, and together they make it eight, which is all about abundance and manifestations. So, the Divine Presence is here with you with the Master number 44, the force of love and creation. You see the sun on here is the same as the sun on this card. Right here, it's on her back. So she may be feeling like some of the best things she had were behind her or it's just right out of her sight. And she's taken many stepping stones. You can see many stones here. She's left many versions of herself behind just as you may have left many versions of yourself behind and you're looking for that next kind of sunrise, sunshine, joyful expression of living right here. Uh, I say it could be for love because it does mention love here. And you may have great abilities of manifestation, you're just not seeing them coming forth at this moment. So let's see why we have Divine Presence here. We're clarifying it with freedom and moving on. Okay, so we have 444. Four, four. That could be another number that you're consistently seeing. That's a confirmation for you if you are. You may be feeling trapped right now, seeing how there's a bird cage on here. But there's also, all right, let's see about getting this closer. Okay, you see there's a vine here, so there's growth. You're trying to grow out of that cage. It's open for you. No one's keeping you trapped. If you feel trapped, it may just be a perception. You might have to shift the way that you're thinking because you've already transformed. That butterfly's on the outside. I would say that that's in a past position because it's behind here and it's blue. So you've already discovered your divine authentic expression. If you haven't, then you soon will. The cage is already open and this bird is flying free. It's a dove, it's white, it's about purity, it's about freedom, it's about expression. 
It um, could even be Christ consciousness. And you have divine support around you. You see all of these, oh, what we'll say sparkles around it. Sparkles to me, they really represent spirits, your spirit guides, your ancestors, your angels. They are around you and they're helping you with your freedom. Just change your perspective when it comes to it so that way you can free yourself if you're feeling trapped change that perspective and fly into that sunlight there through the use of love for yourself tapping into your heart chakra your high heart chakra if you don't know where your high heart chakra is it's right there where your collarbones meet so your heart chakra is right in the middle of your chest your high heart is just above right there at your collarbones and it vibrates at a quicker rate so to activate that you can just hold your hands there until you can feel a beating like a heartbeat there and you'll notice you'll notice a difference in vibration you'll notice a difference in your reality and things coming in quicker if you manifest while holding on to the high heart chakra there so you're being asked to go ahead and do that so that way you can free yourself next we have connections with partnership contract and commitment there's some type of green crystals in here. I'm not exactly sure what crystal that is, but green really is about that prosperity. It's about that abundance. Green is also the color of the hot heart chakra again. So again, we're coming back to that, reaching out to people, seeing if there's people that can help you with your goals, or maybe there is that divine partnership that you're looking for when it comes to relationships because again in the beginning I said this could either be career or it could be about relationships or something that you desire there's people out there that can help you with it new contracts to be made and commitments to be made that may require you to rip up old contracts so if you're able to get into your Akashic Records and you can find many free meditations for this then I suggest going in there and see if there's any contracts that you need to rip up and delete and then call your power back and then go ahead and move forward seeking out these new partnerships getting these new contracts and these commitments now when it comes to contracts make sure that you're reading all the fine print if it's a physical thing that you're signing like a new job or if you're going to get into a marriage Make sure that you truly know the person that you're marrying because there's a lot of people that put on a false face and then they get married and suddenly are, they're a different person. We've seen it too many times to deny that it's a truth. This is clarified by talent guides, spirit mentors, and teachers. Okay, so I would say that this definitely goes along with the career aspect. So you may be someone like myself, that light worker star seed. I do not feel called to do mundane work, even though I have to, because life can be quite expensive. I just want to be able to do this full time. You may be someone that is very similar to me like this. And you'll have talent guides and mentors that are coming in. You might even have them now, or you might have them after you cut up old contracts that are say in your Akashic records um, that can help you show you something completely new and different it could have to do with writing because we see the the quill with the ink here it could be music so you singing or playing an instrument or doing a type of divination for people where you just get messages through music and you give people messages like that. You could be doing sound healing, just being a healer of sorts, definitely art. Um, right here, combining science and spirituality together, alchemy type of deal. Designing things, because that looks like a piece of clothing to me. I'm not exactly sure, but that's what it looks like to me anyway, is clothing, so designing of some sort. Either way, watch your dreams, watch for signs that are around you. You'll continually see things. It won't be just a, a one time seeing it and then it's done like, oh, you missed your sign. No, you will continue to see these signs to confirm this. 
And hopefully this is one of those videos that are showing you, yes, you're on the right path. Yes, you've been catching the signs. This is what to look out for. Next we have balance, centered energy, self-care. So what in your life requires balance? Are you spending too much time looking at the future or looking at the past instead of being in a present moment? Are you spending too much time working and not having enough time for play and relaxation? You have to find a balance in what it is that you want and what it is that you need so that way you can move forward and continue with this freedom. This is clarified by your eternal spirit, higher self, sacred intuition. So if you don't know what it is that you need to balance out or where these connections are, or if you have these spirit mentors and teachers, just trust your intuition. You're going to be getting all of these intuitive hits that are gonna let you know. You may just have to ask, higher self, please come in. Let me feel when this is a sign. Give me visuals, let my ears ring, show me these numbers, show me this sign and be open to it. And your higher self will bring these messages in for you. Archangel Raguel is here and is part of your team. And if he isn't already, then he will be. And you can call upon him to help you in matters of justice, harmony, and solutions when it comes to this whole situation. And that is clarified by letting go of urgency, surrender freedom from time constraints. So holding on too tightly. Are you holding on too tightly? All right, let, let us look at the different signs that are on this card that could be messages for you. We're seeing the month of November so either last November started giving you clues or you'll see some type of movement or signs this coming November. I see the date of the 17th. This is card 19th, so 19th might be an important date. Um, seeing 12 o'clock, so you look at the clock and suddenly it's 12 o'clock. That might be an intuitive hit that your higher self is sending to you. When you see these things, it's time to go. If you're doing meditations and you're starting to see green doors, take that as a sign, journal about that. It's time to go. And this could be a very busy month for you because this board over here is completely filled with events. And you, know, you may feel like time is running out, but time is not running out. Solutions are coming to you. You just have to find a way to let go, which I know is way easier said than done. But you can do it just by focusing on what is going on right now. By expressing gratitude for the things that you have and the lessons that you have learned, even if they have been difficult. Because some of the most difficult situations, jobs, relationships have made us into who we are. We have attachment with longing and desperation. I feel like that definitely goes with the letting go of urgency. We're holding on too tightly because we have an attachment. We feel like, again, there's this type of web that's going on, just like the cage here. You feel like you're trapped into a web. And maybe feeling like your intuition isn't serving you as well, considering it's back behind here, it's back behind her and she's not looking at it. So make sure that you are paying attention to that intuition. And then that is clarified by thought vibrations, resonant choices, signature signals. So this card really is about changing the way that you think, changing the subconscious mind and the thoughts that you're sending out when it comes to the universe. Can you listen to affirmations when you're sleeping such as I am abundant I am prosperous I love myself I am finding the perfect partner I am free and I claim my power you know just finding different ones that you can listen to while you're sleeping 
helps a lot. Before my surgery last month, well, it wasn't last month, it was February, because now we're in April. I did a hypnotherapy session, and I got the recordings for that. And you need to listen to recordings for 21 days or longer for it to get to your subconscious mind and start to rewire the brain and make a difference in your life. And let me tell you, that made a huge difference. So I suggest if you're really stuck in a rut to find a good hypnotherapist, you don't have to do it in person. You could do it online. I did mine online. It was perfect. Or just listening to these recordings, I would say find one that really resonates with you and your intentions and stick with that one for 21 plus days without skipping a day. Just put it on. Set a reminder on your phone. Put on these affirmations. I'm going to change this way of thinking. Every time you find yourself holding on to an outcome too tightly, try to change up your thoughts of expressing that gratitude, acting as if you already have what it is that you want, and see how much quicker it is that you attract this into your life. Those are ways that you take the conscious steps to get what it is that you want. So, like I said, up here are the cards of the results of what you will get if you follow through with these actions. The first one is Archangel Haniel with joy, blessings, and intuition. So we see stars flowing down here. Again, that's um, that might be a sign from your star family, a sign for you if you are a star seed. She's letting you know that your wishes have been heard. You've done your little nest eggs and they are hatching for you. They are working out for you. And you will bring in your life will be full of joy. You will get these blessings and your intuition will increase. Be miracle minded. And also prosperity, abundance and success. The golden road will be paved for you. If you're trying to manifest a house, you may get a house, you may go on a trip. You'll see more transformations in yourself and of other people. Seeing the butterflies here again. See, it's the blue butterfly, just like on this card over here. You're no longer trapped. Now you're traveling that road. And it's lit up for you. You see all these little dots that are guiding the way? It is lit up for you. It is meant to be yours. All you have to do is change that thinking. Let go of the attachment. Free yourself. Find that balance. Find those partnerships. Tear up those old contracts and be willing to make new ones. Commit to it. Use the forces of love and creation. Manifest it. Call in your higher self. Surrender, surrender, surrender. Because there is no time constraint here. The sooner you do these things and commit to them, the sooner it's going to come in for you through divine timing. Lastly, we're going to do messages from the fortune cookie deck and then the divine doors. Your first message is romance. Love is set to sizzle. The chance for romance is high for those seeking a connection. Beautiful. If that's what you're looking for, know that it's out there. It's seeking you too. Planning. Now is the time to lay down the foundations for your future. Financial gains are more than likely. So write it out. Chart it out. Figure out how it is that you want to spend your money. If you have a certain way that you want to live, how much money is it that you want to make? How can you live that way? How can you plan it out where you're able to pay your bills, you're able to spend the way that you want to spend, and you're able to save? Write it out. And then reflection. Friendships in your life may come to an end. Others could blossom and become stronger. So yes, as we know, as we up-level, unfortunately, old things leave our lives. There are people that are in our lives for a reason, a season, or a lifetime. 
And that could mean letting go of that relationship that you're in now so that way a better one can come in. And I'm not saying just up and give up on your relationship, especially if the person isn't spiritual like you are. Trust me, I almost fell into that pitfall myself. I've been married for nearly 20 years and I'm spiritual, my husband's not, and that was a big issue. Do not let that ruin your relationship. Leave it if it truly is stagnating. You know that it will not go anywhere. That job, you know it will not go anywhere. It will never fulfill you. And taking this movement will allow new and better things to come in for you. Really make that pros and cons list. And let's see the messages from the divine doors. This is your first door. It says birth. Another gateway appears in view. New life is unfolding with blessings for you. See, joy, blessings, intuition. It's meant to be. You are supposed to have this. It's yours. Just go through this gateway here. Go through that arch. Your second divine door here it says palmistry. Fortune and tarot, collective destiny. The palm lines from birth tell your sacred palmistry. Listen to the notes of intuition. You see how intuition seems to be a reoccurring theme? Trust it and dive into it more. And look into palmistry. If you're interested in reading palms, or if you already do read them, or if you're interested in doing tarot or giving some type of collective messages, do it. Yes, I know there are many people that do this, but there isn't you. So don't stop people from enjoying what it is that you can bring to the table personally. And if you don't do these skills, maybe go see somebody that does. Go to a palm reader. See what it is that you contracted to do in this lifetime and see how it's going. Or get an Akashic Records reading done. And then your last divine doorway here is this one. It says, Hummingbird Song, Nectar of Sweetness and Joy It Brings, The Hummingbird Healing as Medicine It Sings. So look up Hummingbird Spirit Guide, Hummingbird Spirit Animal, Animal Totem. It will have messages for you. I'm not going to link one for you because I don't want to take the joy of you looking and finding the messages for yourself. If you see hummingbirds, that's another sign for you that you are on the right path. Keep going. Trust it. So these are all the messages that I have for you. If this reading indeed was for you, please leave a comment below. Let me know, is it for career? Is it for love? Is it for some other desire? What you thought of this? What resonated with you? I'd love to hear from you. You have a beautiful and wonderful day. And remember, where there's love, there's light. Where there's light, there's beauty. And where there's beauty, there's you.